first uh, story is somewhat miraculous, really. So obviously people are still cleaning them up, up after the violent, devastating, terrible tornadoes yes. that uh, ravaged parts of our country last Friday night into Saturday. And um, a woman named Katie was walking to her car in New Albany, Indiana. Now, New Albany got some high winds, a little rain, but nothing, obviously, to the effect that those other families went through. And she said she thought there was a note on her car, so she went to go get the note on her car. Here's what she saw in Instead, oh she saw a picture. <gasps> this is Gertie and J.D. Swatzel, and with their names on it, and the date, 1942. She thought, hmm, interesting. Had no idea that this heirloom photo was actually carried by the tornado from Kentucky. She what? posted it on Twitter with the hope that they could find the owner. The owner was reached, has contacted Katie and they're making arrangements to get the oh picture. Oh my gosh. I know. Back to um, the gentleman That's now. But how I, I know. Chills. I know. Um, and in case you're wondering, it's 160 miles uh, from where the person lives that lost the photo uh, to I'm Katie's true. place. So That's the fact that it went all that way and remained intact is um, is pretty miraculous, like I said. And I think we should do a follow-up because they haven't connected yet, but she said obviously they're busy rebuilding what of course. they can and um, trying to get oh. their lives together, but they were so touched that the picture made it all the yes. way to Yes, and we say those are the mm -hmm. positive things about social media that right. it was, she posted on Twitter. Exactly. And there you go. Yeah, yeah. she said, in fact, and you teed me up, she said, I'm just gonna let the internet do what the internet do. Yeah.